Blowout sale. I need it all gone today. Call 1-800-ROBOTUSSINPOPPY on Instagram. We got deals, 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 and tons of steals. We need it all gone. Everything. It needs to be gone. Especially before VF Corporation runs this shit into the ground. You heard me correctly. 2020, the end of the Supreme. Well, maybe not. I mean... Who knows? Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to the song. Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the acquisition that VF Corporation, which you guys may have never heard of this corporation in the past, but you guys are about to become real familiar with it because VF Corporation just purchased Supreme. <laughs> Now, honestly, I normally wouldn't make a video like this. I, I want to make thrift videos. You guys saw what I posted yesterday. I'm going to leave it somewhere up here on the little card, maybe in the description down below. I'm going to leave a link to yesterday's video where I found a bunch of vintage dope shit in the thrifts. I actually found this in the thrifts. This is already sold, so don't bang my line for this one. However, I've been asked so many times about this already. I even posted this picture. I'm not wearing Supreme at all. I look like the next door neighbor that your mother cheats on your father with. I look like a straight dad in this outfit yet i still got asked in the comments my opinion about this impending doom that is potentially facing supreme now i woke up this morning and i saw a little box logo that says sold and i was like oh supreme's releasing a box logo i clicked the little notification and i see that yes it is true supreme has officially been sold to the vf corporation oh god. no god no god please no 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 no! As far as I know, the VF Corporation isn't some terrible company. It doesn't have the same bad history that the Carlisle Group has, but this has been expected for quite some time. When Supreme sold to the Carlisle Group, a lot of the news organizations were reporting that the Carlisle Group purchased some of these shares so that way they could build it up and then sell it. So this isn't necessarily news, but it's news because, I mean, although we expected it, I think everyone was just kind of hoping that it wouldn't happen and that things would just go back to how they were before Carlisle Group owned the majority of the Supreme shares. Psych! I mean, the idea that this is such a shock to people is kind of amazing to me. You know, when I first started talking about Supreme on YouTube, at that time, a lot of people would comment like, Oh, you don't even f***ing skateboard, you f***ing poser. Even though clearly they did not see the Complex article where they literally have your boy wearing a Thrasher tee on a skateboard and Complex themselves chose to use my beautiful, disgusting, ugly face on their article under the Supreme headline and explaining why Supreme is still a brand that is about skateboarding. <laughs> and that's a real screenshot. I grew up BMXing. I've talked about that on this channel many times. I don't skateboard. Although there's that video of me skateboarding, if you watch the video, it's mostly a meme. Like, it's a joke. I'm literally basically rolling down a tiny hill, wearing my friend's Thrasher tee. And during that clip, a little thing pops up and says, you know, skateboards once, starts wearing Thrasher. I never was into Thrasher or brands that I genuinely felt were devoted to skateboarding. I didn't want to wear a shirt that said Thrasher Skateboarding Magazine just because it was cool or because it was in. Did I wear skateboarding brands or have I worn skateboarding brands? Of course, skateboarding has influenced the world of streetwear so much. Not to mention, like I said, I grew up BMXing, so I would go to skate parks and kick it with a lot of skateboarders. I had hacky sack with skateboarders. I never got into skating, but sometimes some of the skateboarders that would skateboard at like Rainier Vista, they would go with me and they'd BMX too. I didn't ride vert, normally I'd ride dirt, bars kind of rhymes anyways that being said back to i don't know why every time i say something that rhymes i have to say bars but yeah a lot of times i would ride it like pete's track in tacoma if you guys are from the pacific northwest some of these names may ring some bells for you rainier vista pete's track pete's track i don't think it exists anymore anyways i'm getting off onto a tangerine that being said I personally and most of the people that were skateboarding never really viewed Supreme as like a true genuine skateboarding brand because most of them realized that although it was started based around skateboarding, the owner, the person who started the brand, James Jebby, had never even rode a skateboard. He basically just made a brand and said, hey, I was fascinated with skateboarding, so I wanted to make a skateboarding brand, which just sounds so inauthentic. Of course, he's going to sell it for $2.1 billion. Like anyone who's shocked by that, I just, I don't get it. How can you be shocked? Like that's just of course he was going to. Of course, of course, of course, of course he was going to. Now, the VF Corporation is a company that owns a lot of brands and several of the brands that collaborate with Supreme. Timberland, the North Face, Vans, these are all regular collaborations that we see with Supreme every single season and the VF Corporation already owns these companies. So we can still expect to see those collaborations in the future, but the VF Corporation owns a lot more than these brands. They own Dickies, which it would be kind of cool to get a nice little Dickies collaboration. They own a bunch of other workwear brands. There's one on there that says Kodiak. I don't even know what the f 
Is it like cardiac arrest or is that like code like some knockoff Kodak film? I have no idea what that is. Klondike bar, I don't know. And then it says icebreaker. They own gum. I don't think that's gum. It's listed under outdoor and action sports. They own Jansport, East Pack. They own a lot of brands. And I will say that I don't know if this is gonna be bad or good. It's probably going to be bad, but it honestly could be good. And I'll explain why in a moment. Now, I think people's obvious fear is that they're going to run Supreme like they run Vans, right? This shoe right here is a prime example of a that when it first released it had resale. Once they realized the shoe did well, they re-released it and re-released it and re-released it. And Vans has kind of played around with having limited shoes. They have their syndicate line, which is normally a more limited Vans. Like I said, I mean, skateboarding kind of influenced a lot about my style because I was hanging out with skateboarders. So of course, the people you hang out with, the people you are around, those are the people that are going to influence you. That being said, Vans is known to do wide releases and anything they have that is somewhat popular or resales, they're kind of known to turn that bitch into a so that being said, a lot of people are expecting that now that Supreme has sold, that we will see Supreme in the mall and we will see Supreme like what Diamond Supply Co was. And I think just everyone expects that. And although Supreme has become really saturated and watered down, I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, it could happen. They obviously have complete control over it now. And now it's not gonna have the same vibe that it did in 2015 or 2016, but it hasn't had that energy this year or even prior to this. I mean, basically since the Carlisle group bought it. And to be honest, like I said, it could be positive. And the reason I think it could be positive is because if you guys look ever since the Carlisle group bought Supreme, it seems like they've been ramping up stock and trying to produce as much of it as possible. And the reason I think that could be is because obviously when the Carlisle group is creating this brand, they wanna sell this brand, they need to show that they can still sell out and do a lot of numbers. So honestly, when VF Corporation takes control of this situation, they might understand the fact that Supreme is kind of reliant on being exclusive. Like if you make it too accessible, it's going to kill the brand, it's going to kill the hype, and eventually it'll become a Diamond Supply Co. I mean, don't get me wrong, I used to like Diamond Supply Co. I still think all these brands do cool shit every once in a while. You know, people hate on hundreds. I just bought a cool ass pair of pants from the hundreds. So just because these brands are older shoe brands and they become watered down from past decisions doesn't mean that they don't still create cool shit. But that being said, it definitely does not have the hype or the same potential to sell units like Supreme does. And if Supreme gets rid of that exclusivity, eventually they will be like those brands. But I think they realize that, like they would have to be really stupid to put Supreme in the mall. Like they would have to know the moment Supreme is in Zoomies, they're losing such a large part of their audience. And don't get me wrong, like I get it. It looks kind of bad for Supreme right now. It literally looks like they're a cheap hooker on the blade. It looks like a relay race and Supreme is just getting passed from one individual to the next individual. I understand it is not a good look, but I really do not think that they are dumb enough to put Supreme like in the mall or just make it overly accessible. They have so many blueprints of what happens to a brand when that happens. Look at Stussy, Crooks and Castles, 10D. You know, all those brands made a lot of money from going into Zoomies, but I don't think they made $2.1 billion and a company's goal is to recuperate the money that they spent on their investment and then hopefully make some more. So honestly, I mean, it might be a good thing because they might just discontinue this flagrant ramping up of stock in overall production numbers. When I first started YouTube, you know, not only did people say like, oh, you don't fucking skateboard, you fuck, but people would also get mad at me for exposing the fact that Supreme resold on YouTube, because at the time, no one was really talking about reselling Supreme on YouTube. It was gonna get talked about no matter what, and I realized that. The thing is, is without resellers, without all that stuff, Supreme doesn't have the same hype or the same ability to even sell as many units. So if they start putting it in Zoomies, they understand like, it's, it's gonna be dead. <laughs> Zoomies wasn't always what it is today, and I do think at one point Zoomies was kinda dope. I don't know what's gonna happen with Supreme. Who knows, maybe they will do some store releases. More than likely, I think that they'll release on Thursday, every Thursday. They'll probably still release at their specific stores. I am kind of curious to see if they still open that shop in Milan. Hopefully they do, because I would like to go out there and document that experience. But overall, I think, is Supreme dead? Uh, it's definitely something these companies can use. Like look at this Wall Street Journal ad, right? Where they're talking about it and they say like it damages their street credibility. That being said, I don't think they're gonna be dumb enough to make that mistake. And if they do, then f it, I'll be in the thrifts every fucking day. Speaking of which, if you guys did not watch yesterday's thrift video, I'm gonna leave that in the card up here somewhere. If you guys like this video, make sure you smash the like button down below, subscribe and turn on post notifications if you guys wanna stay up to date with what happens. Not to mention, tomorrow I should be posting the drop list for the Supreme week, letting you guys know what will resale. I'm not gonna lie. Although Supreme has officially sold the VF Corporation, this week is shaping up to be pretty nice and there's some pieces that I want in the personal collection as well as some pieces that I think will have some potential resale. So stay tuned, subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button down below.
love. Show some love. Thank you guys so much for rocking me. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. As always, keep them in the starlight and peace. The fuck out. Same bitch, holler when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers.